we was we was in the thing for hours. It's so many people we could have connected with. It's so many people we could have talked to. It's so many people we could have helped. So many answers could have been. So many questions could have been answered. I feel like we we spend a little too much time on certain people, and I don't know why. I don't know if it was a motive behind it. I don't know if they, if they if somebody knew somebody personally, but they spent too much time on on certain people, and they had so many people in the room. There are so many people in the room that had that had questions, and I just felt like we weren't able to reach everybody because they were just stuck on some of the, you know, they were just stuck on. Like, it was like it's like they were stuck on Sabia's stories, just so they could, just so they could get the credit for I helped you. I'm giving you this. I'm giving you that. Not only was you getting promoted, you you was also giving money from from some people. Then you was given spotlight. Then you was given followers so you was getting engagement like it, i feel like that could have been spread out among so many people and and it was really stuck on just a few people and i wasn't feeling it but that's why i was quiet i was quiet for a while because the the whole thing went left to me but yeah it, it, it turned into a pity party and i wonder why i just be on live by myself you know, when people want to ask questions. And again, I don't know it all. I really only speak from, I really only speak from, you know, my experience in business. Like what I encountered and things that I, you know, accomplished. And, you know, I don't, I don't know it all. Like I said, I was in there to learn to. I was in there to, you know, to gain and to, to, you know, build network and to build communications with people. I was, I was there for all that. But. That's why this right here, I could do. I could do this. I could do this. Because usually you asking, you know, you asking from, from, from my standpoint and you asking from my experience and from something that, that I personally, you know. Thanks, sir. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you. You know, so I, um, I just write it. I write it this right here. This live right here. I read this. Yeah, it, it was entirely too many moderators up there. What was your question? Get the hand. Is your makeup for light skinned ladies? Nah, I'm gonna be on that. I'm, I'm just going, you know, I'm gonna be on that. Just not. <laughs> I bust the car one more time. So how do I get the subscribers for my YouTube channel? My friend Tiffany Vest is the reason I believe that I want to ask them to subscribe to my team. In your video, did you ask them to subscribe to your channel? I chose makeup as a business because I absolutely love makeup. So I feel like, I feel like whatever business that you want to do, it should be something that you actually enjoy doing, that you love doing, that you wouldn't mind getting up to do every day to promote market and, you know, keep building on. And I actually, I absolutely love, love makeup. I love wearing makeup. I love, 
learning about makeup, I love it. So for me, the the brand was easy. Like it's, I, I I can never get tired of that brand. Like I can never get like I don't feel like doing this today. Like I would never have that. I would never have that mindset because I'm so in, infatuated with cosmetics. It was real easy to tie it into a brand. So if you love cooking, bitch, come out with a cookbook. Come out with some cooking utensils. Do some type of YouTube channel about it. If you like coffee, come out with a coffee a coffee line. Whatever it is you like. Whatever it is that you love doing. If you know that... If, if, if people know that you... If people know that you always... If you always wearing a choker. They, like, bitch, everybody know. Bitch, when it's all walking that you're going to have this choker on. Bitch, come out with a choker line. Because they keep asking you about your chokers. They always ask you where you get it from. They don't know where to find them because you always got them. Bitch, come out with chokers. If you're always known for, you know, dressing, bitch, come out with some type of styling thing, something. Whatever it is that you love doing, I say in, invest in it and fuck with it. Why would somebody alive know someone that work in HR? HR well. Right, like black with the hookahs. What's the question? What up, nephew? I did an ad on Instagram. One was helpful, the rest of them was bull. But that don't mean just because mine wasn't helpful, that don't mean yours can't, you know? Judy, Judy wrote books. She asked Judy. How? Why you, well, you gotta rewrite the question. My sister sell baby bonnet yes. What was her question? What should be, what should be on running more? I, I think if you, if you have one business, if you can run one business, you can run five. If you can run one business, you can run five. It's, there's nothing like multiple streams of income. The thing is, what we got to set our mind off of, and that, that's something I had to learn as well. If your one business is making $40,000 a month, right? And you feel like, bitch, I make $40,000 a month. I'm not about to start a business that's only make $10,000 a month. We gotta, we gotta e erase that out of our mind, and that's something I really had to do on my own. Like I was so focused on how much money the crown case make, I didn't want to invest in no type of business. I didn't want to start another business that's that's making not even half of that. So I had to definitely, definitely take that out of my mind sight. But if you have a business that's making four thousand dollars a month, do not say you don't want to start a business that's only making ten thousand. It's still a different stream of income. So you still should run that business, and then. It'll kind of it'll kind of motivate you to to do more with that business, so you can start making forty thousand, fifty thousand, six thousand dollars a month. So we definitely gotta get out that mindset about try to keep up with our first business, our second business, whatever. Like we don't gotta try to keep up. It's it's another business and it's another stream of income. Code. It's code. You have a head code? No, I said it's hella code. You do. Your nose is cold. Yeah, I'm freezing. You put a, a shirt on, socks on, you wouldn't be cold. Yeah, I, ain't, I ain't even touched it. Love you. Love you too. Wait, I'm charging my phone. My phone's dying. So we can get to the stop. Okay. It ain't charging. Hmm. I don't know it's tomorrow. I'm, I'm doing a clubhouse chat with Judy. I might just go sit back there. Hmm. Love you too. Haha! <laughs> I'm.
Mas tá lá, tá lá, tá lá, tá lá. Muito bem. Mas tá, deixa eu ver aqui, eu tinha que 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 eu tinha I would say find out what they need first and then order that. Because cause then if you if you just load up on products and then that salon doesn't want those products, then what? Then you're stuck with those products. No, I see a question. No. Thank you. I applied for my LLC in 2015. I use um a a a tentative. It's not in this phone. It's in that phone. I use a tentative. The um is it a tentative? Yeah, it's tentative. I got um I got that app from it's not an app, but I got that. I linked with them from um Lil Fabricy Boutique. Linked me with them. And I joined with them. Now listen, you know what's crazy? The 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 email blasts work, but the the SMS messages works better. Imagine how many people really be have their phone in their hand. Like that work way better than emails. Like people used to be really upset if we sent out an email blast at twelve saying that something was stocked at one and they don't check the email till like five o'clock that day, five, ten o'clock at night, and then the product is now sold out because it's sold out, right? They get upset. They're like, oh, well, I got the email blast and I ain't sold out. Like, how did it sell out? It sold out because you sent it out at 12 and you answered your email at, at 7 p.m. That's how it sold out. But if, it's, if it come through text, they can't miss that. Like, it come right to their phone. Like, they can't miss that. So, people don't really check emails how they check their they text messages. Think about it. The people that check email all day is the people that really like work by email. Like people that really be in the email all day. That and and, and it's not it's not just business owners, but people that just do corporate work that really just be in the emails all day, right? But text messaging, everybody be on it. Everybody be on text messages. So text messaging works works much better. I mean, it's it's it's, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's I can honestly say it's worth it. Like if you spend. Four thousand dollars sending text messages to a couple hundred people, you gonna make that back plus some. So now I wouldn't say send text messages every day. If you don't have the money to, I wouldn't. I'll wait for you know you like you got a heavy launch day, you got like ten thousand some products and you're trying to get off them. I will send that text blast and then y'all bet you have been sold all that. Especially if it's something that is it's highly anticipated and people been waiting on it, it's gonna sell, trust me. See, I only be in my email. Somebody got to tell me to check my email. And it's usually because I'm, they sending me something from DocuSign or I'm checking a, a um, I don't know, like a, for a deposit or I'm checking for a, a quote or something. But somebody have to actually have to text me, check my email for me to check my email. I don't check my email like that. You got to text me these. Yeah, I, I link my emails to my phone too. I still don't check it. My emails, I don't, I don't, I don't really have notica- notifications on my phone because my phone is so, is so active. Like text message, I just turned my text messages in back on in in July when I broke up with you because I was getting so many text messages a day. But even that, that don't make a noise. I don't have like my my phone on vibrate. I just turned my vibration on probably when I came out here. My phone wasn't vibrating for years. I can get a phone call. I was missing phone calls all day because my phone's on vibrate. My ring I have to be on, and that's because I'm waiting for a a, a, a text. Or I'm waiting for a call for me to actually, and I think that's when I got with with dude, so I can actually hear when he texts. Cause he texts and call all damn day, so that's when I actually turn my thing on. Cause as soon as you miss a call, you know, but you miss a call from nigga that like you sucking dick, you know. But so I that's when I end up turning on my messages and my and my my notification sound. But I don't have none of that on my on my phone. I don't get alerts from Instagram. I don't get alerts from Twitter. I get alerts from Twitter on this phone. Cause this phone is not active. Like nobody really called call this phone, but Twitter come to this phone. But other than that, and I turn the sound off from Shopify because that shit go all day, all day. So I don't even have to. But I do see when I get a sale, but it don't, it don't have the sound on. So again, you gotta text me and say check your email. 
and then check my email. You know? Constant calendars. What you mean? Yeah, I don't, I don't like all them alerts. It'd it, it be too much. I got too many followers to have Instagram alerts on my phone. What about a question about LLC? Before you get an EIN number, you need an LLC. A tax ID. How long did you work in 9 to 5 before launching your business full time? Um, I've been working in 9 to 5 since 2000. My first job, I was 15, well, 14, but I don't count because I was competing on the table. My first job on a clock, I was 16. I worked at the department. That was 2004. I stopped working in 9 to 5 in 2014. 2014. I didn't launch my business in 2015. And that was just me selling CDs, planners, um, shirts, and all that. I was making money selling the black hole shirts and all that, but nothing was like the crown case. Honestly, the crown case, yeah, it's true, it's true attentive. That's what it is. The crown case was when I really, really, really found out about business, business. The crown case kind of like opened a lot of doors for me. I, I, well, I can't say because I never use Squarespace. I use Shopify. Another question somebody said on a um on a thank um hold on. another question somebody um asked that um that we kind of I kind of wanted to I'm not well piggyback I don't, I don't nobody got a problem with piggyback I like it piggyback hairstylists and all it was saying like how can they get celebrity clients right I don't know if y'all was in there when people when somebody asked that how can they get celebrity clients and India kind of responded extremely well and she was saying that um people should treat they Regular clients like celebrity clients as well, you know, because motherfuckers a uh, 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 cancel your your appointment because a celebrity about to walk in the door, you know, like just fuck, I gotta go to work for five, you know. So, um, I I I think they be wanting it for for the recognition, but usually they do that because they want to raise their prices, you know. And think about it, they, they got people that my makeup bitch when I was you know just doing funny videos years ago. And it was, you know, fifty dollars a face, sixty dollars a face, and they still do the same thing. Ain't none change, ain't none change. They still do the same thing, and now they charging eighty dollars a face. Then what happened? These, you know, and I understand, you know, people grow and all that. All right, change the prices, but a lot of them change the prices because of who they work with. They feel like, you know, like they didn't done this celebrity face, this celebrity face, this celebrity face, and not just makeup. It be hair, it be nails, it be um brows. You know, when they start doing the micro shade and all that, it be um. Massages, you know, it be anything, any service they went high up on because now they considered a celebrity style stylist. They they didn't done all that, you know, you know. And now and, and again, and think about it. Usually celebrities, they usually want it for free, right? So not only are you doing the service for free, you just plan on the people who paying you. These people paying you, and the celebrities getting it for free. And usually, if the celebrities pay, you ain't getting no recognition. So it's either, oh, baby, you want the money or you want the shout out. Right, they don't make it affordable for regular You're right. They, they do not make it affordable for regular people. So it's either you want the money or you want the shout out. Because a celebrity ain't about to pay you and post you. I mean, I do. But some others just feel like, bitch, for what? You, you, you get to put celebrity. Such and such in your body, you know, because you done my face, you done my hair, you done my makeup, you done, you done whatever, you know. So, I mean, I, I do it all the time. I pay amples. You know, I pay amples. And even when they try to give it for free, especially if we, go out to, if we go out to eat, if we go out to eat, even if they comp, even if they comp our, our ticket. Listen, I was a server for years, right? When I was serving at Oceana, I never, I never understood why, why our boss was letting all the fucking celebrities eat for free. He was letting Lil Wayne eat for free, Baby, Drake, Mary J. Blige, Ludacris, Pretty Ricky. He was letting all them come in there, eat for free. Terrence J., any celebrity that came in there, they ate for free, right? 
And when them celebrities came in there, I ate for free, and we waited on them. Usually, they were those horrible as fuck, had the worst attitudes ever. So when they came in there, I ate for free. They wouldn't even tip us. Our 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 boss pulled us off the floor to come wait on your table. So now we stop making money, right? No, it, it makes sense. So now we stop making money. They pulled us off the floor just to come wait on you, and you ain't even tip us. And you was being rude as fuck, right? So when we go out to eat, a, a lot of my friends, a, 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 all us were servers. So when we go out to eat, if they, if they let us even free, we, we tipping the, we tipping the server big old money. Because we understand, you know. But now I, I see why he was letting all the celebrities free. When celebrities come in and go somewhere to eat free, they usually come back. They bring more celebrities. Or they tell other celebrities. Especially around Essence time. Essence, Essence in New Orleans is the, the year. That is, that is the month of the year. July, Essence time, that's when all the celebrities are going to be in the city. And all the celebrities usually go well, have a pop. So I see why he was like, I get it. I understand. I understand why he got to eat for free. But bitch, can y'all tip? Because, baby, can y'all tip a bitch? Right, it's... It was free PR, so I, I at that time when I was served, I didn't understand why he doesn't motherfuckers eat free. Now in in my lane I'm in now, I, I see why, I see why and I understand. But it, at least tip the service, tip the service because usually the, the the managers, the the owners is pulling them off tables. Don't worry about them tables. Just catch this table, focus on this table, and now you didn't lost all this money because you didn't waited on a celebrity with an attitude. Bitch with no fucking proper etiquette. Don't even want to tip a bitch. That's still why I got attitude with marriage of black. <laughs> you hear me? Bitch, I've been mad at marriage of black since 2010. Do you hear me? Bitch, I've been 10 years. It's been 10 years. Should I get over? I should get over it, huh? <laughs> Over it, bitch, I'm still upset. Ross, how many times I told you about when this motherfucker came in there with that ass? Bitch, I'm still mad. I'm gonna get over it on you. Listen, I didn't wait on no, I didn't wait on some celebrities. Some was nice, some was mean. I, I get it, but god damn. Bitch, I ain't do you nothing nice. What you mad at me for? <laughs> oh girl. Girl. Bitch, I've been mad for it. It's, it's 2021. Look, in, in July, it's going to be 11 years. <laughs> it's it's going to be 11 years I've, I've been mad. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know, like, I don't know. Listen, I don't like when people give me an excuse about why they had a bad attitude. I hate it. I, I absolutely hate it. I done had bad days, horrible days, bitch. I done had times, bitch. I stepped out my car after just from fussing with somebody, crying, stepped out my car and somebody come speak, ask for a picture, and I've never been rude to nobody in my life. Now, I've probably been rude on here because y'all be getting out y'all body sometimes. But in person, it's nothing that could go on in my life that could make me be rude to somebody who didn't cause that problem in my life. So I don't give a fuck about what nobody was going through that day, what happened to him in that hour, none of that. I don't care about none of that. And again, I shouldn't even be mad, upset about that because we can't push our beliefs on somebody else neither. Like we can't be like, oh, I don't do that. Why are you doing that? You know, like we shouldn't, we we shouldn't be like that neither. I get it. I, I tell people that you know, all the time. Yeah, Roxy always tip, and Terrence always tip. Now I tell people that all the time. You know. Just because we have our way of, of, of going about things don't mean they have their way of going about things. I get it. But, I, you know, I, I ain't about to be mad at somebody who didn't cause that problem. So, I don't want to hear that bitch ass shit. I don't give a fuck what you was going through that day, bitch. I came to you nice, respectful. I wasn't rude. I wasn't mean. Bitch, I had a bad day too. Bitch, my last three tables ain't till. Fuck. My last three tables was me. Upset with me behind nothing. Bitch, I ain't the chef. They come tell me, oh, the food cool. Bitch, I ain't cook the fucking food. Bitch, I ain't make the food. Bitch, why you hollering at me, niece? Oh, this food is cold. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta take this. This is, 
Listen, how, why would you give me this? Why would you give me this, bitch? What you want me to put my hand in the food first? What the fuck you want me to do, bitch? You want me to put my hand in the food first and see if your food cold first? What you want me to do, niece? What you want me to do, niece? What you want me to do? You want me? You want me? Oh, it's not sweet. I'm gonna take it. It's, it's not. I'm gonna take it. It's, it's not sweet. I'm gonna take it back. Bitch, what the fuck you want me to do, niece? What you? Why you? Mad, why are you upset at me? Why? What you mad at me for? I, I ain't prepared a fool. I ain't the chef, bitch. What you need me to do? I, 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 you know, I, you know what, ma'am? I apologize. I'm gonna go tell them about this, and I'm gonna make sure when they come out, it's hot. What the fuck, you bitch? Talk shit to me about the oh, the chef is wrong for this. I'm, I'm gonna be like, you know, he surely is wrong, bitch. I'm gonna talk shit with you about the chef. One thing I serve did, we blame everything on the kitchen. <laughs> the servers blame everything on the kitchen, bitch. I don't give a fuck. What? I could have forgot to put in your potato salad. I'm going to say, damn, bring that out. Oh, let me go. Let, let me go grab that for you, bitch. And then I'm going to right to the kiosk and putting that bitch in because I fucking forgot to put it in the potato salad. But I'm going to blame it on the kitchen. Room. But again, don't, don't get mad at me because your food came out hot. Tell me, this this food is cold. Why would he give it? Girl, why, why would he give you that with his bitch ass? Why, why, why would he give you that? Don't worry. I, I'm about to fix it. Give it back. I, I, I apologize. I'm about to fix it for you. But why have an attitude with me? You know? I don't want to stab people sometimes. <laughs> you have to be a servant on the Ross, no. Bitch, Ross, no. Britain, no. Raven, no. All us worked in the same restaurant, bitch. Look, it's motherfuckers coming in and act like, bitch, they bought the building. Not to mention, bitch, they see, girl, anything. They see me way on the third floor. And they get mad because we got to walk downstairs. To get, bitch, you, bitch, you walked up these stairs. Then you walk up these stairs to get up here. You ain't get on no elevator, niece. You walked up these stairs to get here. So you see I got to walk back downstairs. And get something for you because you didn't like something. Can you give me time to get down the stairs, bitch? Can, 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 can you give me a little time? Was you tired when you walked up here? I knew you was tired because I heard it in your voice. I knew you was tired. And when you said you like, ooh. Ooh, yes, I would like a water. I am. Because yeah, the bitch, you was tired. You want a water? Because you walked up them stairs and you was tired. Now, you know I got to walk back down them stairs, bring up a whole fucking tray of food for, some, for something for you. Can you give me a little leeway, me? Can you give me a little, a little lead? Then, then, then bitch, I was big. I wasn't small like Ross. Bitch, bitch Ross was, was, was running down the stairs, bitch. I'm talking about Ross hitting, bitch, hitting hoops going down the stairs. I, I'm not Ross, niece. I can't jump down them stairs like that, niece. I got to take my time. I, I got a little weight on me, niece. Let me go down the stairs. Bitch, Ross run right past you. Bitch, like you on a fucking video game, bitch. I'm like, well, look, bitch, since you're going down there, can you go, can you go grab my shit too, Ross? I'm, I'm, I'm not fast like that, baby. I'm not that fast. Give me a little second, baby. But you know, people don't understand. They don't understand what you go through. In the server, they don't understand. They don't understand. They get tired when they sit down. And you, and you, see, I got, you see, I gotta go down all them damn steps. You see, you see, I gotta go down. Girl, look. You know, she. She crazy. <laughs> all I'm saying is, next time y'all go out to eat, Respect the service, please. Respect the service. The service is, is, is doing a lot to make sure y'all are happily satisfied. Just respect your service. And learn how to tip. What's the biggest tip I ever got? I don't remember, but we used to get big old tips. I don't remember the biggest, but we got big tips. Baby, look, I love serving. I loved it. I absolutely love waiting tables. Bitch, if I ever fall fall off or anything, God forbid, I bet you I go right back in the bitch, I would go right back in service. But you're gonna see an article on me. One small time millionaire is now a waiting table. Sure the fuck is. You want lemon in your water or not, niece? You want crystals of Louisiana? You want a roll of toast? Bitch, what you want, niece? Sure is. Bitch with no problem. Yeah, Bitch with no problem, baby. What, what do you want? You want sweet or unsweet? Not like a huh? Which one you want, niece? Baby, I'll go right, I'll go right back in that restaurant with tables. 
What you want? Me, real, or well done? Huh? Which one, me? Which one, baby? I can see the articles now. And make sure y'all come support me and come eat at the restaurant. <laughs> and come tip me good. That's all I'm saying, baby. You want sausage? You want links or patties? You want turkey or pork? Which one you want, niece? Baby. Please. But you make some money serving. As long as you go in the right place, you make some money serving. I'm just saying. We was making thousands of dollars serving. So I'm just saying, baby. They can say what they want. You want salt, salt or sugar? Cheddar American. What you want, niece? What you want? Because who going right back to the table is me. <laughs> so I'm coming there with a whole fucking portfolio. Look, I was a celebrity. Check, check the articles. Now look, if you put me on the floor, I want my own little section. I want a, I want a seven section to um seven table section, two big tops. And watch people gonna come in here and, and, and when they and when they ask for me, let them wait for me. Thank you. I'm coming there with a whole resume. Look, I was once a celebrity, I fell off, but I'm about to get this money back. So look, here. Look me up, niece. I want my own section. Seven tables, two, two big tops, two full tops, the rest two tops. So I can mingle in, you know. And I want my own name tag. Cute name tag too. Thank you. And I want my picture on the wall. So they know I, I, I still work at Bishop on here. So they come back the next day. Thank you. I'm, uh, I'm going to use my status to wait my tables. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> People still walking and going to bitch like I work there. Exit for me. Bitch, I don't work there. <laughs> I don't work there, bitch. I ain't worked that in over six years. What is going on? <laughs> you hear me? 